students welcome back let us discuss how a single reinforced beam can be designed from your rcc here i will going to uh, i'm going to discuss the basic steps that are involved in designing single reinforced beam section okay <clears throat> now the first point the first step or else let us see what is a given data um, what what would be the available data so given or available data so manaku ichina data mm data untadante manaku load casing telusu untadi you will know loads live load entha no me question lo or meek telusu untadi and <coughs> with the live load knowing live load and you will know length that is span okay and type of beam if it is simply supported or cantilever the type of beam will be given so load span and with the type of beam you can calculate mu right <coughs> and he will give you fck value he will give you fck value and fy right so these are the available data the general data so with this we have to design the single reinforced beam okay so the first step you have to do is firstly you have to fix the dimensions okay so fixing dimensions so you have to fix the dimensions so for fixing the dimensions you have some thumb rules the first thing you can do you can use l by d ratios so has per is 456 so l by d ratio for simply supported beam is given as 20 okay so from this you can you will get what is d value you know l l is the span and <coughs> simply to find out d so it will be l by 20 okay so here d is the effective depth d is the effective depth for if you use this uh, this ratio that is l by d is equal to 20 most of the time the condition will be un, uh, unsatisfied so before designing the singly reinforced beam you have to check whether the beam is under reinforced or over reinforced okay so if it is under reinforced you can continue you can continue your design if it is over reinforced again you have to redesign by changing the dimensions okay so if you follow this there are many chances of unsatisfied condition okay so malli malli cheyalsi vastadi l by d ratio is equal to 20 isukunte malli malli cheyalsi vastadi adhe at one time lone satisfy condition satisfy kavali ante you have to use some other thumb rules like based on span based on span you can select other other ratios so i will show that those ratios also so if the span the span is 3 meters to 4 meters you can select l by d ratio of the l by d ratio you can take uh, 15 to 20 you can take 15 to 20 and if it is span span is uh, 5 to 10 meters you can take 12 to 15 and if it is greater than 10 meters you can take uh, 12 okay so if you follow if you take these values instead of 20 l by d ratio as 20 instead of based on the span given uh, if you take these values most uh, the condition will be satisfied with, with one step itself in one trial itself you will you can easily design the single rain, single reinforced section and not only that remember so if here you got the d values right you will get the d value the effective depth so from this from this you have to find out the b value okay so by assuming the bd ratio so you have to assume you have to assume b by d ratio okay 
so you can assume this b by d ratio around around 0.5 to 1 okay so around 0.5 to 1 that means the b should be half of the depth the b should be half of the depth so from this you will get the b value has done okay and remember for <coughs> one time lone meeku solution raavali ante b values kuda meer practical values pettandi substitute cheyali practical values like 150 mm 200 mm 230 mm 250 mm 300 mm so on so try to select these values first for suppose if i got b value as 100 100 mm so instead of 100 i will select 150 mm okay so like that so because in ekkada 100 mm ante 10 cm 10 cm beam width anedi ekkada provide cheyarandi maximum rcc structures lo 100 mm 100 mm width beam undadu so okay more than 150 width e untai so that's the reason i'm selecting 150 okay so like that select these values so that one time lone meeku structure condition satisfy avutadi under reinforce section vachesi okay so remember these values now after getting the d value effective depth now you have to select you have to uh, find out the overall depth capital d so or how you calculate overall depth ela calculate cheyochu ante effective depth plus effective cover effective depth plus effective cover so you do meeku diameter reinforcement diameter telise tappa effective cover you can't find out so therefore you can assume this values around 40 to 50 so 40 nundi 50 varaku meeru assume chesukochu ee value ni these are this is in mm okay because manaku diameter anedi inka manaku teliyadu diameter telise you can easily find out the effective cover manaku diameter teliyadu kabatti we are assuming this value from 40 to 50 so effective depth ki meer 40 to 50 uh, add chese you will get the d values now all the dimensions you got all the dimensions now let us calculate the effective span the second step is effective span so let us call this as le effective span okay so so you have, for calculating the effective span you have two conditions the first condition is clear span so in the question he will give you the clear span clear span plus the effective depth clear span plus effective depth okay so this is one condition and the second condition is clear span plus half of the support width half of support width here b is represents the support okay plus half of support width because so half of support width means if this is a beam you have a column support or a wall support like this right so here also you will have a column support or wall support so from half so half from here to here so simply you can add a, a width of one support so you oka support oka oka support width add chese saripothadi half of get cancelled half of will be become one kada okay so it two values low the least value you have to take so least of both okay so it two values low is the least value that will be your effective span now you have to use this effective span in order to calculate the bending moment so before that we have to find out the loads the next step is load calculations or this is also called factored load because we have to use the fact uh, load factors partial factors so factored loads 
okay so firstly you have to find out the dead load wd so dead for, for calculating the dead load you have to find the area so you know what is the d in meters in terms of meter you have to substitute in terms of meter d and width into unit weight of rcc so that is 25 so this you will get in kilo newton ee value meek ela ostundi kilo newton per meter lo ostundi and you know the live load given in the question okay or else you you have to use is 875 for finding the live load for different scenarios for different type of building uh, is 875 will give you the live loads you can use that also is 875 okay so with that we have we have finished the uh, third step now we'll, let us go for the fourth step so fourth step and we know the effective span and we know the loads now we have to find the factored movement movement or so this is a factored movement which is called in terms of mu okay so you know for us usually the beam will be a simply supported udl beam so for if it is a simply supported udl you know the formula so w u so sorry here you have to find out the factor load right so by cap by find uh, here manaki you dead load and live load so factor load can call and so the factor load w u is equal to 1.5 into m d plus m l sorry w so this is w so w d plus w l so here we are using load factor 1.5 okay so <clears throat> So here WL is equal to LE squared divided by 8. So this is the formula for bending movement for a simply supported beam. Okay. So with this, you will get MU. Now, the fifth step is you have to find out the MU max or maximum movement of resistance, MU max. <coughs> so what is the MU max for? So you know MU, MU max formulas for based on the grade of steel based on fy value right so if it is 250 or 250 or 415 or 500 so based on that you you are having the formulas so if it is 415 so for 415 what is the formula 0 0.138 into fck into bd square right so for 415 this is the formula for fe415 so like that for <coughs> for fe500 for the formula is 0 0.133 into fck into bd square so this is fe500 Okay, so similarly for FE 250, so 0 0.148 FCK into BD square. Okay, so simply you can use these formulas to find out the MU max values. Okay, so after getting the, your MU max, the seventh, the sixth step is you have to compare MU with MU max. Okay, so if MU is less than MU max, then it is under reinforced. So this under reinforced section. So mana mundu L by D ratio 20 this kunar and direct ga and B width of section good me than a section but a those are the saran kondi. E condition satisfy kadu. E condition satisfy kakunte. Malli mi rem chals of sadi, malli miru re uh, again you have to second trial chals of sadi. Leda in case oka vela e condition satisfy kale do ankondi, even though miru uh, suitable thumb rules 
యూజ్ చేసినా సరే ఇలాంటి థమ్ రూల్స్ యూజ్ చేసినా సరే మీరు మీ కండిషన్ సాటిస్ఫై కాలేదు లేదంటే ఆల్రెడీ మీరు ఎల్ బై డి రేషియో ట్వంటీ తీసుకున్నారు అయినా మీ ఒకవేళ మీ కండిషన్ సాటిస్ఫై కాలేదు సో అప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి మళ్ళీ సెకండ్ ట్రయల్ వేయాలి సో సెకండ్ ట్రయల్ వేస్తే సెకండ్ ట్రయల్ వేయాలంటే ఏం చేయాలి సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఇంక్రూస్ ఇంక్రీస్ ద ఎఫెక్టివ్ డెప్త్ రేషియో సో బి డి రేషియో బి డిని మీరు ఈ సైజెస్ ని మీరు ఇంక్రీజ్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది డైమెన్షన్స్ ఇంక్రీజ్ చేయాలి సో ఎంతవరకు ఇంక్రీజ్ చేయాలని ఎలా తెలుస్తుంది అంటే యునో ఇఫ్ ద కండిషన్ సో హియర్ ఇఫ్ ఎంయు ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ ఎంయు మ్యాక్స్ then what you have to do is equate mu with mu max formula to find to find effective depth okay so ardhamainda so that means you know what is mu mu so mu is equal to so for fe 415138 into fck into b d square so <coughs> assume b by d ratio b by d ratio as 0.5 and substitute b in uh, in b value substitute b value in terms of d point d now what is unknown unknown is only d you know the bending moment already you have calculated you know fc fck value and the un- unknown term is only d now you can find out the d value so you will get the d value here okay now use this d value use this d value and again mali first undi mali cheskuntu raavali again find out the dead dead load and bending moment and mostly if you do this step the condition will be satisfied okay so this is the the sixth step so after <coughs> after you getting the satisfied condition that is mu is less than mu max remember mu mu is less than mu max untene you can go for the singly reinforced section okay so if mu is less than mu max then you will go for the seventh step so what is the seventh step in seventh step we are going to calculate the ast the final the, the final step calculating ast ast is area of reinforcement <coughs> so how you will get the how you can calculate the ast you will you, ha- you are having a formula so mu is equal to what is the strength of steel 0.87 fi this is the strength of steel so if you want to find out the force you will multiply with the area of steel so 0.87 fi into ast you know this formula so with for this multiply the effective depth and have a bracket 1 minus so on top on top so give the steel uh, parameters fy and on bottom give the concrete parameter fck on top steel ast so on bottom concrete ast will be b into d so that's it so use this formula so here you know what is mu and fy value you know and you don't know ast you have to find out this you know d value you know fy fck b d and you don't know ast so by simply substitute uh, substitute this uh, equation in in your calculator and you will get ast value you will get the ast value okay so after finding the ast now just the eighth step is provide or provided ast okay so for provided ast you have to assume firstly you have to assume the diameter of the bar assume dia of bar so you know how uh, what are the available diameters in the market so you have to assume those values only and for since this is a ast is the main ast right so main ast gabatti you have to assume the diameter greater than 10 mm okay so like 10 mm or 12 mm 16 mm 16 mm 20 25 like that okay so 6 mm or 8 mm you should not assume because usually the 6 and 8 will be used for stirrups 
okay so therefore you have to assume greater than 10 and so what you have to do you know you have suppose you have assumed a, a diameter of 12 so with this you will get the area of one diameter one bar so area of one bar will be 5 d squared by 4 so let us keep this as okay so pi d squared by 4 you will get one diameter uh, for one bar area okay so for for finding number of bars so number of bars is equal to capital ast divided by ast okay you will get the number of bars so for suppose here if you got a value of around 3.5 so 3.5 and value which is the So you have to substitute 4 bars. Even 3.1 and which is the You have to substitute 4 bars. Okay. And see that 5 bars, 5 bars, 6 bars, illa high bars, chala bars, choose maximum 4 bars. Okay. So you have number of bars restricted and came to you. You have to increase the diameter of the bar. So diameter of bar increases the number of bars that give Okay, so three or four bars is enough. Getting provided AST then in terms of number of bars, and you you can calculate what is the AST the provided. Okay, so number of bars, number of bars, number of bars into by this by this by four chest them you will get the ast provided so this ast provided should be grave, greater than ast minimum so remember that you have to check this okay so <coughs> ast minimum ela calculate cheyochu you know for ast minimum formula so ast divided by bd is equal to 0.8 5 divided by f5 okay so using this is ast minimum so this is minimum okay so using this formula you can calculate what is the minimum ast that needs to be provided so me read the ast provide jesaro adi the minimum ast kante ekko unnad in case oka vela we provide just an AST minimum AST kante takko undan kondi. What you have to do? You have to provide this minimum AST. Okay. So if AST provided is less than, in case if less than AST minimum, so then provide, then provide AST minimum understand and here I have my bars and up to here this is my FF2 depth and you have to show what is the AST that you have provided like this like three numbers of uh, 16 dia like this okay <clears throat> so this is how you can uh, you can design a single reinforced section so the first step fixing dimensions then effect to span load combinations and movement factored movement and ultimate movement or maximum movement and you have to compare and you have to check whether this is under reinforced or over reinforced and then you have to find the AST required and what is the provided AST at the end you have to show that in a diagram representation okay and <clears throat> yeah so that's it so few things you need to remember
one in sometimes in the exam he will ask you to find out whether this is over reinforced or under reinforced so in that case you can find whether it is under reinforced or over reinforced in two ways by finding mu value mu is a bending moment and by finding the xu value so your xu is the actual neutral axis actual neutral axis okay so bending moment kankoni leda actual neutral axis ee rendu values lo edaina sare telusukoni meer under reinforced or over reinforced ani man telusukochu so mu if it is less than mu max it is under reinforced or mu is sorry so again xu the xu is less than xu max again it is a under reinforced so this is the condition you have to check so a a method cheyali so ee rendu method lo ee rendu method tho manamu under reinforced over reinforced ani telusukochu so mee question lo meek a values ichchado danni batti meeru ee methods choose cheskovali okay so meeru xu ga ankovalante you have to equate c with t so c t rendu equate cheyalante meeku c lo b value d value kavali <coughs> okay b value kavali meeku so d value lekuna palle gaani b value aithe compulsory b value kavali and fck value kavali and t lo meeku em value kavali ast value kavali so me question lo ast b value fck fy ee values ichadu ankonde you can use this method you can calculate x actual neutral axis kankoni x max meek telusu is 456 lo x max values ichadu so you can use that ledu meeku ast value ivvaled ankonde ast value ivvakunda loads ichadu ankonde loads isthe you can calculate the bending moment loads span isthe you have to choose this method అర్థం అవుతుందా లోత్ స్పాన్ ఇస్తే మీరు బెండింగ్ మూమెంట్స్ కంపేర్ చేయాలి ఏఎస్టి డైమెన్షన్స్ ఇస్తే మీరు యాక్చువల్ న్యూట్రల్ యాక్సిస్ కంపేర్ చేయాలి ఓకే సో దట్స్ ఇట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్